Okay, so I just need to show you where I've got to with this so far. Sorry, <coughs> my camera's picking up the face set. Um, so I did this page whilst I was at my fiance's house, so it wasn't filmed or anything. Um, Here we go. So it's basically I used my Stabilo woodies and I drew the face. I just drew it really quickly and then added a little bit of water and then there's some watercolour pencils here. And this is a Stabilo pen. And then I flicked some of my Cosmic Shimmers. And that is on mixed media paper. So that is going to go into my book. Um, <coughs> and I've started this page. Um, so basically I've taken, no I left it out here, it's a Stabilo pen, it's just uh, one of their fineliners, uh, I've scribbled some text, I've done some journal spilling, uh, I'm going to, they are not waterproof so what I'm going to do, this is just paper from the book. wet the whole page and then I'm going to really wet it let it smudge let it dry <clears throat> let it do its thing okay and what I've done is I've drawn a face just with a pencil and I've smudged it a little bit with a blender and this is just a, I think it's like a handmade paper from a small book that I'm using as a sort of a travel journal and it was getting too big so I've ripped out some of the pages and you know I'm not going to waste them I'm going to use them so I'm just going to tear the edges so that it all matches and I might just use Some water to help me break down those fibers. Pull it apart. Do the bottom. So I've kind of been thinking about this page. I've not had much time to craft, but obviously your brain still grows. Hopefully. If your muse is still with you, so I have a plan for this page. Um, <coughs> yep. So, uh, do I need any more water? Do you think? Should we wet it again? Yeah. The nice thing is, if I don't know if you've ever done this experiment at school, but um, we had some markers and coffee filters and you uh, just put a, a splodge of marker pen in the middle of the coffee filter and you wet it and you see what pigments come out. Um, I can see sort of purplish tones coming out of there and all sorts. Of course that might be what it's picked up off the paper but <laughs> I think that's that's been picked up but that's fine. I'm going to let that dry now. Definitely see some purples coming out of there. Yep, I'm going to leave that alone to dry and I will be back the next day. Okay, so that's dry now and I just want to add some black splashes. So. <coughs> Let me just wet my watercolour. Take the brush in. Okay. Get my water.
So, oops. Have my image go there. And then I have some things that I may. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. Uh, I'm not just going to add some of this. how I want that to look more piece Uh, I think that's it. Um, and now I just want to find my stapler. So I'll just pause you a second. Okay, so while I was looking for my stapler, I found this number. Now then, let's see how far we can get with this stapler. <laughs>
think. There we go, I think I'm done with that piece. Um, yeah. So the difficult thing about this is, obviously it's not an art journal, but for me, that's how I express myself, so it's kind of a <coughs> crossover between a sketchbook and an art journal for me. So I just want to have fun with it and create some interesting pages really. So that's the third page done. And I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you again soon hopefully. Bye bye. <coughs> In fact I do just want to add one last thing. Let me just check I've got this right. Yeah. And I'm going to add it in a couple of places. Now I'm done. <laughs>